Hey bud. <laughs> you got the hiccups? <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh. Good morning and welcome to Chase Out of the Right Price. I'm Chase and this is going to be an eBay selling side video. So I've got 17 sales from the weekend for $870.64. I'm going to bring you guys with me, pull some orders, see what sold for how much, and I'm also going to tell you what I paid for each item. And hopefully, you guys can learn and distinguish how much you should pay if you see these items out and about in the wild. So let's do this thing. So I just pulled bin A8 down. I had three orders from it, which I pulled out. And those orders are Pitfall for the ColecoVision. Uh, this one I I paid $40 for the whole ColecoVision bundle. I already sold the system for $150. So I'm in the profit and have very little into that game. And it sold for $13.49. Should cost about $270 to ship. Contra Hardcore sold this listed just a few days ago. Sold it for $39.99. I did test it and it's working great. It has some label wear, cartridge only. So $39.99, pretty good price to get for it. Got this in a bundle, which I paid $120 for. It included the Sega CD combo, a bunch of other games. And so maybe a couple bucks into this game because there was a lot of them. So very good deal there. Kirby's Adventure. I think I picked this up at a Disc Traders for like 25 bucks complete. And this one sold for $56.99. So just pulled bin A7. Got a couple orders. Including this um, Micronauts figures. There's three of them in there. Paid a dollar for these. And they sold for 40 plus shipping so that's an amazing sale um, been doing I think I've sold like three sets of these Micronauts figures which I had like five bucks into the whole collection um, so it's a very good purchase and then I also sold this lens which is in the case I believe it's an Olympus lens Yep, it's Olympus 28 millimeter, and it sold for $28.49. Uh, had five bucks into it at a garage sale. A couple other items over here that I already pulled. So this Apple, like, modem thing. <laughs> I sold it with an Ethernet cable, because I have a bunch of those laying around. So every time I have something that requires an Ethernet cable, I make sure to include one. It helps the sale. But I had five bucks into this at a garage sale. Kind of crazy. The garage sale was just nuts and had all these insane electronics for dirt cheap. That's where I got a PS Vita for five bucks as well. Um, so this sold for $54.99. Got this Verizon Jetpack. Um, had a dollar into this from that same sale. And this sold for $29.99. And then I sold... The He-Man and Battle Cat. Probably undersold. I think I could have got 10 bucks more at least. But sold it for $49.99. And that was out of the giant collection of figures, mostly Star Wars and G.I. Joe. This one I had about 15, 20 bucks into as part of that deal. So from B1, I sold this racing headset and radio combo got it in a little bag and this sold for $132.99 I only had 25 bucks into it at a garage sale so pretty good profit margin there alright so a couple more items here pulled from A3 
So this is like a remote control for an airplane hobby zone. The airplane was broken, so I got it for free at a garage sale. I ended up just not even trying to sell the airplane, but I had these parts laying around, batteries and stuff, and sold them for $37.99, and the price was right since it was free, so that's all profit. And then Pokemon Snap, um, this was one of those where I got the box um, for like five bucks, a whole box full of boxes, and found the game for, I don't know, $7.99, $5.99. So I got about 10 or 12 bucks into this thing and sold it for $47.49, complete. So that's a pretty good sale. And then this Apple TV, somehow I sold it without the remote, but thankfully I had another Apple TV, which I just grabbed the remote from, put it in there. Uh, ended that Apple TV, and since this one's sold, this is the one I'm shipping. And the other one I'll just list without the remote, or I'll order a remote for it, depending on how the sale can best be maximized. But I had five bucks into this one, and it sold for $58.99. That's definitely a premium, but I sold it with the power cord, remote, and HDMI cable. And the last small item I sold over the weekend was this GameCube controller, bad joystick, which was mentioned, just needs a replacement, but it's tested, it works, and that sold for $19.99. Had about a buck or two into this from a big bundle purchase. So, I like selling controllers like this quickly. Um, I know some of you guys probably repair them. Uh, I'm happy to get $19.99 for one with a bad joystick and just move on, so... Happy with that sale. Alright, and the last two items I sold were from Overflow, so I had them stored in the garage on top of that entertainment center. These both came out of the collection. Had I remember getting this N64 case with games, um, and the games were like Smash Bros. Mario Parties for like 20 bucks, like amazing deal. So basically got nothing into that. And that sold, I think, for $49.99. I'll put the screenshot. And then this Sega Genesis case. Also got that for pretty darn cheap with a bundle. At a garage sale a couple years ago. So let's say 5 bucks, Probably less. And that sold for, I believe, $59.99. But I'll put a screenshot of both. These are the last two sales from the weekend. All right, and for Monday's sales, I had just four sales, slower day, but $159.38, including these Jurassic Park dinos. There's two of these ones. They're vintage, and then the one little mini one in there. Sold these for $20. Bucks. Um, these were just a throw into the playset, which I had $40 bucks into the whole playset with T-Rex and, and different things that I've already profited on. So, basically got it like a dollar into these things. This, uh, what is this, an Apple Airport Express, it's a router, had five bucks into this, it was marked at five and I bundled, so probably more like three, and that sold for $54.99. Brother Dave is cleaning a controller. Hi! <laughs> and... I have two more sales out here. Elvis Greatest Hits paid a dollar for that, sold for $17.99. Um, these record boxes are how I ship records and vinyl and uh, like laser discs. You can just type in on eBay like a hundred record vinyl boxes, and these will come right up for about fifty bucks, fifty cents a box. And then this player sold. Unfortunately, the remote doesn't work, so I didn't even picture that in the listing. But I've got a sticker on it that says it doesn't work. I might send it just in case the buyer can get it to work. It might be a nice addition. But it's this LG. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Had 5 bucks into it. I pretty much never pay more than $5 for these combo units because they're a lot of work. Um, take a lot to test and do get get everything ready, so... I make sure to have very little money into them. But that's it for Monday's sales.
So just a few sales for Tuesday, including this battery charger, sold for $24.99, paid $1 for it at a garage sale. This Mega Man pet thing has been listed for a while, came out of that crazy storage unit purse, just probably got about a dollar into it, and it sold for $50. I included a new battery with it, that always helps to get a premium for something like this. Psychogenesis Fantasy Star 3 cartridge sold for $22.99. Paid, I don't know, it came in a collection with the Sega CD system and whatnot for $120. So, probably a couple of dollars is what I paid per game. And then this, um, this is a video disc player, RCA. It's super heavy, I've had it forever, but I paid 20 bucks for it with all the movies tested this thing and it works <laughs> I don't know who would want it but somebody did and paid $130 plus $18 in shipping so only four sales for Tuesday they're definitely slow right now but still happy to get this thing out the door five sales slower day but for $194, these are the eBay sales. So this is kind of a random lot of broken systems. The Dreamcast had a video output issue. GameCube and didn't work. And then the NES has like a bad controller port. So I sold them together for parts as is for $29.99 plus uh, $20 in shipping. So, I don't know, I tend to just get rid of broken systems as quickly as possible. I don't do many repairs for NESs. I do, like, replace pins and all that kind of thing. But just only the simple stuff is what I will do. These, this trilogy sold. No outer box, but sold for $33.24. Must have sent a 5% off. I just did a 5% off promotion to... Maybe have some of the items get to the top of the search. This was a good sale. Listed this yesterday. It sold for $75.99. I paid um, $30 for this an Atari 600XL and an Atari 2600. So I guess you could say I paid $10 for this. And it sold for $75.99 shipped. So that's a great little sale. Quick sale too. Star Wars Trilogy, the prequels, these sold for $16.14, probably have two bucks into these things. And then this Harley Davidson hat sold for $18.99, it's like a leather hat, uh, and I paid one dollar for that. And as far as what I paid for these, they were, they were all garage sale systems, so I probably paid 30 bucks total for these. So broke even on the broken systems. And then the Lord of the Rings trilogy I paid $5 for, so. Pretty good margins on everything, obviously except the broken systems. That's just part of the business, you know, 5 to 10% of systems that I get at garage sales are going to be broken. So, that's just part of it, but still happy to be able to break even by selling them for parts. So this is also what I have been doing today. Getting FBA shipments ready. So I filled the van, got some FBA, also got all my FedEx stuff from eBay, so the bigger stuff usually goes FedEx because it's the cheapest. So got quite the van load today. Six sales for $243.93. I'm going to go through, show you what sold, and tell you how much I paid. So, first thing is this Jurassic Park car. Great sale here. So, I recently sold the T-Rex from this purchase for $50 plus shipping. This also sold for $49.99 plus $10 shipping. Uh, for the whole Jurassic Park collection, I paid $40. Bucks. I'm already in the profit with the T-Rex. This is going to put me even further in the profit. And the main part still not sold, which is the Jurassic Park playset, nearly complete, which has some pretty 
good value to it. But I'm very happy to get 50 plus shipping for this. Pretty surprised by that. This is one of those things that came out of the plumbing HVAC, you know, parts unit. Um, bought it from my guy, paid him like 150 bucks for everything. I've already made well over, I don't know, 1000 1500 So I'm heavily into the profit. Maybe have two bucks into this thing, just averaging it out for for how many pieces I got. And this sold for $56.99. That's pretty heavy, so it'll ship priority, but still making probably about 40 bucks after everything for that piece. It's a Fujitsu uh, fan motor. So I'll take it. This is a DeWalt charger. Battery charger for like a drill or something. I had three of these. I got them for a buck a piece. This is the first one that has sold. And it sold for $23.74. So pretty good profit there. That'll ship first class. It's pretty light. Sold a couple of the cards from 1969 Tops. Some of you guys remember the huge baseball card collection that I purchased, 68 tops and 69 tops with actually a decent amount of stars. Um, I've already sold uh, a bunch of them for three, four hundred dollars. I had like a hundred bucks into the collection, if that. I actually had thirty-six dollars into the vintage collection, so no, I had a little bit more. I don't know. I had a hundred bucks is what I spent at the entire garage sale, but it included like a Wii and a bunch of other cards. So I'm completely in the profit at this point, but these sold together to the same buyer for $25.63. So that's a great sale. And then I've got one more sale, which is this mobile DVD player. It's not name brand. It's by gear to gear but it's complete in box. And I got this at the beginning of the summer with Thane at a garage sale. They had five bucks on it. We offered a dollar because of how big it was. And they took it. And I kind of didn't want them to take it if I'm being honest because it's, I mean, it's huge. It's probably uh, 22 inches by 16 or 18 by 10. So it's big. But it sold for $66.49 shipped. I've only got a dollar into it, so as long as it's not going to California. I'll do okay. So let me see what state it's going to. <laughs> it's going to print shipping label. So it's going to Kentucky. So that's a win. That is very close to me. That's within driving distance. <laughs> As a lot of the states are, but that's like within 10 hours. So that'll ship pretty cheaply. And I'll definitely win on that one. I'll probably ship it FedEx ground. Um, I believe that's what I marked that I would ship it by. And that's most likely going to be the cheapest option. And for Thursday, I've got seven sales for $230.48. And I'm going to pull those and show you guys what sold. And how much I paid, of course. All right, so I got all the orders pulled, and I'm gonna show you guys everything that sold and what I paid. So this is a Micronauts little tiny figure. You can see the size of my hand compared to it with its, um, I don't know, coffin. I don't know exactly what that is, but it was a pretty good sale. I had 10 bucks into the whole Micronauts collection and case, so probably about a buck or two into this one. And it sold for $37.99. So that's awesome. Kind of crazy. This Inuyasha soundtrack. Had this for a long time. This was just thrown into a collection. And that sold for $9.49. So I basically got that for nothing. Because that was just like part of a wee bundle or something. These uh, Lionel flatbed trains. Just kind of grouped them together. Bought a whole collection for 20 bucks. I've already made well over $200 on the collection, so anything else is gravy. This sold for $19.48 shipped. Probably will actually ship first class. They're fairly light, so it'll cost me about five bucks to ship. I'll walk out with, you know, 10 or 12 bucks after everything on that. 
This case sold for $9.49, and I had 50 cents into it. Got a whole collection of these cases for 50 cents each at an estate sale, and most of them have sold for 10 plus. Got this Dowling Jig Craftsman. Just bought it because it was Craftsman and it was a dollar. It sold for 20 bucks shipped. Going to ship it in a bubble mailer, flat rate. So it'll ship for about 8 bucks. So I'll get 10 bucks after everything. Sold this uh, camera bundle here. Lissa listed this. Got it at Goodwill for 8 bucks. I hesitated, but I ended up popping on it. And that sold for $60. So. Pretty good sale there, pretty good bundle. And here's some of that Star Wars stuff. I just kind of grouped all these vehicles. They're just in bad condition. It wasn't worth taking the time to list them individually. Um, but I know some people can use parts and pieces off of these things. So I just grouped them together, 50 bucks plus 20 shipping. And they sold to somebody that is in Iowa, which is pretty close to me in Michigan, so they'll ship fairly cheaply so I was happy to that they didn't sell to California or Arizona or somewhere that would ship expensively and you know I got probably 20 bucks into the lot so profited pretty well there thank you guys for watching chase after the right price we truly appreciate you guys watching if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe right here go ahead and do that it would be awesome and when you subscribe hit that little bell so you can get the notifications because every Friday we put out a new video at 4 p.m. If you don't hit the bell, you won't get notified. So hit that and you'll get the notification. Also, guys, be sure to check us out on all social media. The links are below in the description. And have a great week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Chase after the right price.